Hi everybody, it's Danelle. Today we are going to talk about the fact that yes, they really do judge a book by the cover. Now I want to show you a few examples because you know, Kindle does have their Kindle cover creator and they have some really standard basic templates and that's what you're going to get. This is one of my early works and I have changed it because it was one of like really an experiment, cultivating the Einstein in your child. It, um, a lot of tips that I used before Sarah even got into the school system that helped make her the way she is. I mean, not every kid starts college at the age of nine, but that's okay. And that's what it says. Secrets to how we had a child start college at the age of nine. Looking at this, I put in a picture. This was a free stock image from Pixabay. But this is the template, your secondary color and your primary color. This is pretty, do we want to say boring? It's pretty boring, but it's like maybe a 40 page book. That's really about it. It's pretty simple. And it kind of sells. I sell maybe one or two a month. Yeah, that's okay. But this gives you an idea and why maybe Kindle cover creation is not really the best for you. So we're going to be talking about a few different other things. And I'll show more examples of book covers later. They're a little bit better than that. But um, you really need something eye-catching that looks professional. If you go and look at the best sellers, you want something that's going to help compete with them because they see two things right away. They see the title of your book and they see your cover. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. You don't want them to just scroll right by you. So let's talk about a few different things. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Unless you're a graphic designer, I mean, most of us aren't. So that's not why we're here. If we were graphic designers, we probably wouldn't be looking at making more money publishing books, right? Um, I mean, you could hire one, but they kind of cost a couple hundred dollars and you don't, well, if you really want to spend a couple hundred bucks on a cover, fine, go for it. But when you're getting started, you really kind of need to be making money. That's why you're doing this. So you don't want to be spending a lot of money to do it. And I want to see you guys all making a profit. This is a great way to make money and be able to work around other things that you're doing. So, um, let me be honest with you. I really don't spend much money on a book cover. Um, I'll talk about two different ways that you can do this. One's free and then one, well, five to 10 bucks, depending on what you're looking for. So, um, let's talk about a few book covers really quick. Um, crazy about Christmas is a quick puzzle book that I threw together. And it's got a picture of like a traditional Santa in the background. And it gets that kind of like an emotional, warm, fuzzy feel from childhood. But this sells really well right after Halloween. It's amazing how well it sells. Romance novels. I'm not saying you have to have a hot naked man or a practically naked man on your cover. I will say it helps. But paranormal romance is kind of like the number one, at least for me, of all the romance books that I have. That's the number one seller is the paranormal niche. And what happens or what works really well is having that animal on the cover. This is Dash. He's a bestseller. He is the start of my Reindeer Dating Agency nine book series that I talked about in the last video. Same pen name, Marie Frazier, Bear Lake. Bears are actually the number two selling animal in the paranormal world. Um, wolves, shifters, or werewolves, those are the number one. You really want the animal on the book because if they're not catching that it says Bear Lake series, careful what you fish for or going by the fact, oh, it's another book by Marie Frazier. The bear is what they see. Okay. I'm sorry. I know these covers are backwards. It's because it's like a selfie video. Um, military. Some people love military romance. So dog tags right there. That's what they see. So um, I think I see an eight pack, but no, that's just kidding. Um, <laughs> but again, this is not a stock image from like Pixabay or something like that. Um, historical or Regency type pieces. They love the gowns. It's all about the gowns, not necessarily the half naked men, unless they're wearing the kind of fun, poofy, pillowy shirts. But um, Lily, again, it is a series. There's four sisters. So they read about Lily. It teases a little bit about the other sisters, and the cover helps sell it, and it's a series. So those are some of my covers. Let's talk about two different methods. First of all, free. We love free. It's my favorite four letter word, especially when it starts with an F. Um, this does take a little work on your part because you are your graphic designer. We're going to talk about how to do this. Um, you're going to have to add text to your cover, but that's pretty much all the editing that you're going to have to do. Um, you'll need a picture. So this is where you can go to Google Images to find a free one. You go to Google Images, click 
click on advanced search. At the bottom next to usage rights, you want to click free for reuse, even commercially. Okay. And then search. All the pictures that come up are legally yours to use and they're free. Um, once you get an image, open it up in your software so that you can go ahead and edit the image. I don't care if you're using um, PicMonkey or in Windows, you can use Paint even. Um, it's a built-in image editing program. Open it up, add in the image, choose a font. Impact is really great in that one. Um, and a good color because like if I did black on the front of here, you wouldn't see it very well because it would be lost in the dress. Um, if I did white on here for the word dash or the Marie Fraser, you wouldn't see it because it'd be lost in the snow. So choose a color that kind of works with the picture. You have to have the name of the book on the cover. You do not have to have your subtitle on there, um, but you do want your name on there. And if it's a series, having the series name on there would be a good one for you too, because that helps them go, yeah, oh yeah, that was a reindeer dating agency book. I want to see if there's any more of those reindeer dating agency books. Um, so I just lost where I was. Okay. Um, now put your title, subtitle, or like I said, series, and then your author name on there. That's it. Now you have a book cover. Pretty simple, right? Um, method number two, we're going to outsource this and Fiverr. So Fiverr, you can get all these gigs for five bucks. Some are a little bit more, $10. Um, I've tested a whole bunch and I'm going to put links to a few different ones in the group so that you can kind of see who I have used and they've done a good job and quick turnarounds and I thought it was worth it. So it's a lot cheaper than a couple hundred bucks for graphic designers. Um, so in this case, you're going to hire somebody to make your book cover for you. So you're going to go and sign up. I'll send you the link so that you can go ahead and get in there. Um, once you're there, you can search for ebook cover or just search for the people that I'm recommending. Um, look through the search results, find a good author with a good example photo, and then you buy it. You hire them or you click on, you know, the gig and you give them your detailed information like, you know, dash a reindeer dating agency novel by Marie Fraser. And then I like to tell them a couple of things. So like I give them a note saying it's a paranormal romance with a reindeer shifter. So I want a man on the cover and a reindeer, and I want kind of an Arctic background. They will give you different proofs, different ideas, whatever you're looking for. So um, those are the two big books. There is also a program that I've worked with. It's a book cover creator software, and um, it's an e-cover toolbox. And we'll be talking more about that later, but it's specifically designed to help you create an awesome cover for your Kindle books. Um, just basically by the push of three buttons. You'll still need images. They do have some images there, um, but there's no complicated, expensive graphics program to buy and learn. You don't have to hire the designers. You don't have to try and do a crap shoot on something like Fiverr, but I'll talk more about that later. So for now, think about what kind of books you're writing. Start getting an idea if you have titles, if you've got your pen names figured out. Um, and pen names, that's a whole other topic for another day. So um, I hope this has helped you a little bit because like I said, they really do judge a book by the cover and we want to come up with these covers, but keep it affordable and thrifty because we want to see you making money, not putting so much money into it on the front end that it takes you a long time to recoup what you've just gotten. So next time we talk about how more reviews equals more sales. It's kind of like a magic formula. And then more sales equals more reviews. Yay. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.